A brand new study from the Agriculture Department's Food Safety and Inspection Service revealing the kitchen items with the most germs. We've got some surprises here. Here with everything we need to know, NBC Senior Consumer Investigative Correspondent Vicki Wynn. Hi, Vicki. Hi, good morning. Okay, is, this is the top this is the top dirtiest item in the kitchen, the, spices? You would be surprised. In fact, the researchers at the USDA were shocked when they found this out. Here's what they did. They took 371 people and said, hey, could you make some turkey burgers with seasoning for us and a salad? And everybody thought they were trying out new recipes. No, what they were doing was observing how oh. these people cook in the kitchen. And it ended up when they tested the surfaces more than half of the time, these spice uh, jars had the most contamination. Because you're touching bacteria. your stuff and then touching the spice jar. It's literally a worst case scenario because you're handling the meat, you're forming the patties, and yes. then you're like, oh, gotta add the onion powder, the salt, the pepper. Yes. And you don't think, let me go back and wipe those down. And sometimes people aren't washing their hands during mm. meal prep between each thing. Okay. So in your cooking show, you would do the mise en place, right? <laughs> you would yes. actually put the well, ingredients out. And, and yes, Tone and I were just talking about, like, yeah. I like to put it out because otherwise I obsessively check the recipe 500 Ten times, <laughs> like, at, per minute. So I just try to put it all in the thing and then I don't have to check again how much it's I need. It's a out. smart thing to do okay. to avoid cross-contamination as okay. well. And if you're worried about it, look, pathogens don't live very long on surfaces. Just give these a wash a in hot down. soapy water or okay. a wipe down. Okay, speaking of soap, soap and water, this, I would imagine, was one of the cleanest places, but actually the sink is one of the germiest? Yes. So you okay. look at the sink, the handle, and the soap dispenser. Okay, what do you so think is the germiest, Hoda? Probably the sink. So according to this yeah. study, it was the soap dispenser. And here's why. Your hands are gross. That's when you touch the soap oh. and then you wash them. So that so makes this, sense, So this, the outside right? stays yucky. Exactly. So if you're worried about that, look, just wash that Wipe when that you down. wash your hands every yeah. once in a while. Yes, the faucet and the sink. They say to clean out your entire sink every night. If you're a big meal prepper, look, you're putting eggs in there, poultry, meats. You're going to want to wash that you with hot soapy with? water. You can also use a mix of bleach, one to two oh. tablespoons okay. of bleach per gallon of water. That's another great disinfectant. Okay. And, of course, the regular ones that are on the market. Yeah, things you don't think you need to clean, but you right, definitely, but you definitely do. Okay. The thing we use to clean is sponges. It's pretty grim. Okay, so we know <laughs> about sponges. Grim. Sponges, they're wet mm -hmm. and they're cold and they're a place where bacteria love to live. So the USDA actually says you can microwave your sponge one mm -hmm. to two minutes. That'll kill off most things. Some people recommend throwing it in the dishwasher. I would just say make sure your dishwasher has a really strong drying cycle because the key here is to keep everything dry. Right. When it comes to your dish cloths, yeah. a good best practice they say to swap them out every day. I feel mm -hmm. like that's a lot of laundry. If that's not realistic for you, at least make sure you're hanging up your dishcloth in a place where it's going to be fully getting dry. Because again, you want to avoid moisture. Mm -hmm. The other thing that's nice is having a different, um, we do this in our house. We have hand cloths for drying our hands. Right. We have a different cloth that you use for drying the dishes. Mm -hmm. And then we have another cloth for cleaning the counters. Yeah. So that oh. helps keep everything separate. Yeah, it's a lot of dishes. This How is, this is a, oh, go ahead. No, how often should you replace those sponges? Because I feel like ours hang around forever and yeah. ever. I know. So the rule of thumb is, look, yeah. if it's getting dingy, like yeah. it's falling apart, tattered, that's like it's far yeah. too gone. If yeah. it starts to smell bad. Yeah. But it really depends. Some people aren't really in their kitchen that yeah. much. So one sponge could right. last them a month. For yeah. someone else, it's a week. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Vic, let's talk about these cutting boards here. They're on the list as well. Why yeah. is that? All right. So whether it's plastic or wood, Craig, when you are cutting in a cutting board, those grooves become a breeding ground for bacteria. They love to live All in the, the little nooks and crannies. Yeah, and the grooves that are made by your knife. Oh. So the best practice here is actually double washing your cutting board, meaning you wash it with the soap and sponge, uh -huh. the hot water, then you throw it in the dishwasher. Oh. That's the recommendation. The number one thing to do as well, make sure they are dry before you put them away. You don't want to be putting away a damp cutting board, especially not a wooden mm. one. And then finally, a different one for your meat, for mm. your poultry, for your fruits and vegetables. That is the, the key to preventing cross-contamination. Do the plastic germ, do the plastic cutting boards carry as many germs as the wooden? They say in the cuts of the grooves, it really doesn't make a big difference. Okay. So right. yeah, don't don't have a false sense of security with plastic. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Vic, in about 30 seconds, you're giving okay. me, we got a produce drawer, we got yeah. a meat drawer from the fridge. You guys have a well-stocked fridge because I know Siri cooks. Yeah. A great thing to do is line the refrigerator doors with paper towels to catch all the juice and the drippings. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to take that out and throw it away. Mm -hmm. Real simple, cleaning experts say, clean out your entire fridge once every season mm -hmm. and you can seriously just wash these with soap and water or use a wipe across the inside or give them a good spray again let them dry follow the directions to make sure that all the bacteria is dead okay and what are the shrimp and what are these doing oh okay so you definitely <laughs> want to put any of your raw meat right into the produce bag before you put it in extra That's layer of protection exactly. when you put it in. so you okay. don't get all the those have been out a while i might not eat those yeah, yeah. no not at all we learned a lot for tv yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks so much yeah.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.